Hey guys, and uh, welcome to a quick update. Hopefully this is actually going to be a quick update this time. Now, Resident Evil <clears throat> is finishing today, kind of. We're finishing the main story anyway. Uh, we still have the EX battle to do, which I'm practicing off camera. Um, it It's not too bad. But I kind of <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> it's not too bad. But there are certain aspects in the second and third level that are just fucking me over, and I, I'm struggling with that. So I can't promise when that's going to be up. I think the first part of that will probably be fairly soon. Uh, I've got the whole day to myself tomorrow, um, which I'm going to record, but. Talking of games coming up next, what I've started thinking about doing, um, because I've been getting loads of suggestions of games to play from you guys, when I finish uh, an LP, um, I might start giving you guys some choices, um, and then you can kind of decide where, we, where we're heading next. Um, I already have a game to replace Resident Evil 2. It's a game that, well, one of you knows what it is, because you've been... Uh, <laughs> Uh, maybe yeah, ooh, there might be a few of you that know what it is actually for those of you that have been hanging in my discord um, For everybody else. I don't think you're gonna see this one coming now. I <clears throat> Have another game Oof. So My missus bought me this for my birthday, which was on July the 4th. So quite a while ago now now, usually when you order a game from Amazon, it's next day delivery. Uh, for whatever reason, this took nearly four weeks to arrive because she ordered it way before. I think she ordered it when it actually first came out. Um, it did come with a limited edition PlayStation Pro, which I really want. Um, I'm very tempted, very, very tempted to sell my PlayStation Pro and buy this particular one. But with the PlayStation 5 so close, I'm not sure if it's worth it at this point uh, because the PlayStation 5 will do everything the PlayStation 4 can do. So I realistically cannot see why I would ever use the PS4 again if I have a PlayStation 5. Unlike um, with the Xbox 360, for instance, the Xbox 360 can still play a lot of games um, that the Xbox One can't, so it still has use. But the Xbox One X, uh, or any Xbox One, and any PlayStation 4 will be obsolete when the new one comes out because it will do everything that that previous system can do, or so we hope. Um, Microsoft's promising a lot with their, their Xbox Series X. Oh, I saw the new Velocity architecture for that. Uh, the advert for that man they're hyping the xbox hardcore and it's getting exciting i'm going to be honest um i'm going to be picking up both machines eventually uh, i do have two pots of savings one for the series x and one for the playstation 5 so i don't know when i will be able to get them i would like to get one at the end of the year me and the missus actually because she's an xbox fan um, and I'm a fuck it, I'll play anything fan. So I kind of want to get her the Series X for Christmas if we can. And she's wants to get me the PlayStation 5. So yeah, we, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, this game arrived a couple days ago. The Last of Us Part 2. Yes. You know, I was really quite hyped for this because... I really enjoyed Last of Us 2. No, it wasn't the second coming of Jesus. Let's just put that straight now. It was not the best game in the world. Um, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, I played it through a few times. I know one of you uh, really did not like it. And that's fair enough. You know, uh, if we all liked the same things and we all felt that we had to agree on everything, life would be pretty boring. Uh, there would be no quality discussion if you liked everything your mates liked that would be a pretty pretty shitty world i think um no it's nice to have disagreements and it's nice to hear both sides of the coin but 
I was really excited for this. This is like the last... Well, there's two... <laughs> the last. <laughs> um, there was two final games that are really going to push the PlayStation. And that is The Ghost of Tsushima, or whatever the fuck it's called. And The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, and I do want to get the ghosts as well. But I had this spoiled for me. Um, of Well, every fucker did, pretty much. And I found out what was going to happen. And my God, my heart sunk. I was like, no, they can't do that. But like, I didn't believe it for ages. Um, so I stayed clear of pretty much anything. And I played the first 20 minutes of this uh, yesterday. Because I don't get te- uh, time to play games. Um, this today is my only day this week that I'm going to have time with the missus and we're going to sit down and we're going to play this but one thing that has put me off with this a little bit apart from the storyline which um, one thing that's put me off a little bit is apparently this is a 30 hour game what a third person action shooter and I've I've heard a lot of people that I know that have played this that have said it's just too long is it's getting it drags and um, there's also been a lot of discussion around our games too long. And personally, I kind of think they're getting that way. Uh, I've had Red Dead Redemption 2 since it came out on the Xbox. And I love that game. It's fantastic. It really is. But I, I don't have time to play it. Uh, I think I got about 20 hours in over the last few years. But it's it's not a game... That I can sit down and fire up for an hour, you know, or hour and a half, two hours, blah, blah, blah. You you need to set aside a, like a good afternoon to do it. And I don't ever get that sort of time. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of on the back burner. So I don't know how this is going to go down. So on that note, one way I can guarantee that I get through a game is if I let's play it. So who wants to see this? And if you want to see it, do you want to see it soon, is the question. Um, A lot of people at work have been playing this, uh, especially one particular guy who I work with sometimes. And he's like, push it, he's past his 60s. And this guy, he plays everything. And I knew something was up with this game. when, And he plays everything. He plays like Bloodborne, he plays... um, all the Dark Souls games, he fucking loves them, he's on Ghosts at the moment, Uh, he also buys like every limited edition console that comes out, I don't know how he does it, and he says he doesn't know how he does it either, big PlayStation 4 fan, tried the Xbox, didn't like it, fair enough, Um, but I knew something was up when I asked him how he was going with The Last of Us, and he was so hyped, all over Facebook, he was posting things up he played through the first one again to get hyped and get back into it (laughs) and I saw him a few weeks ago um, about I don't know week and a half after this came out and I said "Uh, so so Bri how's uh how's Last of Us 2 and he's like I was like oh that good is it he's like oh I'll give it to my boy to play and I'm like "Mm." okay oh and he's usually pretty accurate. Now, I did put up, when this arrived, I did say on my Facebook, uh, thoughts. And it was interesting. A lot of people that I know that are fairly casual into games are like, yeah, it's a masterpiece. It's really good. Good bit of video gaming, that. And a lot of people that I know that are the more hardcore side of gamers, you know, that are into all the culture and all that stuff, are like, oh, God, disappointed, disappointed, haven't finished it. So, it, yeah, interesting. The first 20 minutes that I played of it, the starting and the setup was amazing. It was fantastic. Like, the visuals, like, the world building, the the town you was walking around. Oh, it was so cool. The, the synergy between... Joel and Ellie was fantastic. And then, not even 20 minutes in, you change over to another couple of characters 
Um, and you're, you're basically Joel and Ellie are getting ready to, well, Ellie and her friends are getting ready to go out on this, this hunt or, or, or something. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much. And it's like, oh, this is cool. Can't wait. Right, we're going to go explore, um, go around the edges of town, make sure there's no infected, lush, we're gearing up, we're getting some chat done, um, we're going around, we're apologising for some kerfuffle that happened last night. There's loads of fucking world building, and it's great. And then you wake up as two other people that really just don't seem that interesting, and uh, I, I was just playing it, and I was like, oh, no. No, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, no, and um, <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. I am going to be brutally honest if we play it. If I don't fucking like it, I will be honest. I always am. Um, now, talking of games that were meant to be a disappointing that I've actually really enjoyed, Days Gone. Everybody told me that this was very mediocre. All the reviews said this was very mediocre. I've really enjoyed this. No, it's not the best game ever made, and it has its faults. It has a very long loading um, screen when you first boot the game up, but after that, it's fine. The zombies are kind of repetitive, and the gunplay and the melee could be better. But visually, it's stunning, and it's very well voice acted. A fairly generic story. But it's good enough. You know, not every game has to be a Spielberg film, okay? Um, They don't all have to be, you know, masterpieces. Some games can be just good enough. Um, And I think this is good enough. Uh, The bike mechanics do become a little bit painful because you ride around on a bike. Think of it as your horse, if you will. And it requires maintenance, but you can upgrade it and you can work for towns and you can do cool little missions. Um, and you can help survivors. Um, I wish there was more to loot in this game. Uh, the loot is very <sighs> uninteresting because you've got these big towns and stuff to explore and, and, and have a rummage around in, and there's never really anything there. But uh, there are character upgrades, and you can um, get experience and level up. It's very hard uh, at times. It's got a stealth mechanic in this that's really bloody good. If you like stealth games and sneaking around, because the infected, the undead in this, are fucking everywhere, man. It's, um, yeah, it really feels like you're in an apocalyptic um, environment. Because it's not like there's a little pocket of undead here, and, you know, go down the road, there's a little pocket of undead there. They're everywhere, especially when you get into the woods and stuff. Um, really enjoyed it. And the infected animals, oof. Hmm. And the storyline, as I say, I'm not going to say too much. But it is good. There's enough there. There's enough of a hook to keep you going. Now, talking about games that have been ruined through the warnings of disappointment, most people that follow me know how much of a big fan of this series I am. Uh, I was supping the Kool Aid from day one on this, um, and that was 20 odd years ago. And I was really hyped. I backed the Kickstarter, obviously, or I wouldn't have this. I I was so excited for this. And this is, of course, Shenmue 3. Uh, this is the special Kickstarter edition. Notice it's still in cellophane. And this game came out ooh, six or so months ago. I know a few people that are big into Shenmue that played this. And they were quite hyped about it. And at the time... I I thought, I'll hold on to it, and I'll, I won't do it until we get to it on the channel. Um, because I'm nice. And I thought, we'll experience it together. And then I saw the reviews for it, and I was like, hmm. People were kind of griping about it and uh, moaning. But I was reading the, the, you know, the gripes people had with it, and it was basically because it is a Shenmue game. And I was like, it sucks that it's still got some of the old hang-ups, but it's Shenmue. And I have a friend who is more hardcore into Shenmue than I, uh, which is probably not that hard, to be honest. Um, I do love Shenmue, but it's not like I sniff, reuse farts or anything like that. Um, But he went through through it once. Uh, In fact, he actually bought a PlayStation 4 for the game. 
he went through it once and he said it's really good. It's great. If you're a big Shemu fan, you're going to bloody love it. Blah, 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 blah. So I was like, oh, fucking yes. Can't wait to get to that. Blah, blah, blah. Really hyped. Really excited. And then I saw him a couple of weeks later and he's like, Ugh. I was like, how's Shemu 3? And he's like, well, uh, it's not that good, really. I was like, why? He's like, oh, it's very long. It's very drawn out. Um, it's so buggy and there's so many voice lines and stuff that don't make sense. And and of course, I, I was really put off by the fact that the game had really low sales as well. It didn't get any traction at all. It ends on a cliffhanger again because of fucking course it does. So we're going to have to wait another 20 years to get a Shemu 4. I don't know. So, yeah, that was a game that I was really hyped for that I've got quite soured to. Hmm. But, you know, we will get to it. Uh, we still need, you know, funny enough, we never finished Shemu 2. Oh, we never finished Shemu 2. Um, no, I'm just looking at my Dreamcast here. We never did, did we? Because my Dreamcast at the time died. Mm. And now, of course, because I started streaming them. Yeah, I was streaming them. Um, and obviously, I moved here and I couldn't stream them anymore. So that's another thing that we can get onto, actually, because we can do it on the PlayStation. The Shemu on the PlayStation. Wow, we could do it on the Dreamcast as well, I suppose. Yeah, we could. Uh, and then we can move on to Shemu 3. And if we're going to replay everything, we might as well replay Shemmy 1 and Shemmy 2. I've actually, since I've, um, since I've done the LP of Shemmy 1, I have actually replayed Shemmy, Shemmy 1 twice. I haven't gone through Shemmy 2 again. Uh, so yeah, that's actually something, I mean, we could build up to that, I guess. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thoughts and opinions uh, are always good. I have also been talking to my friend about doing some kind of podcast. Uh, Rich, uh, this is something that we have always tried to do, uh, you know, because when me and him get together, we can rant and talk shit for hours. And those videos actually went down quite well whenever we've done them. Um, we've got the Xbox event coming up and holy fucking shit, Halo Infinite, please be good, Halo Infinite. Because I don't think they've ever made a bad Halo game. They've made a subpar Halo game, Halo 5. A lot of people don't like Halo 4. I liked Halo 4. It was okay. Halo 5, oof. I mean, the, the direction they're taking the story. Mm. Here's the thing, right? Halo, the shooting, the combat in Halo is just god tier. It's brilliant. It, a bad Halo game is still a fun game. Um, I don't want another Halo 5. I want Halo Infinite to be something something special because it's going to be launched with a new console and it'll be nice to have something to really kick that generation off. Um, so I've been talking to him about doing some stuff. The only trouble is I work 50 hours a week. He works sometimes more than that. He's a head chef in a uh, elderly home. Uh, retirement home and yeah but we are we, we we are in discussions about doing some kind of a podcast every week maybe if we can um hopefully that can be done because they're they're funny man we've got stories for fucking days weeks months even uh, and we've spoken about it uh, over the years as well we actually had our own channel uh bit war veterans still there um that we that we were fairly active on actually a few years ago but time um makes fools of us all i suppose uh and apart from that everything's business as usual oh i did see in the discord h has made me some thumbnails for jungle strike which i will be using thank you very much buddy he also made me the thumbnails for uh desert strike so Yes, thank you very much for that. Uh, H's channel will be in the description. Uh, he is currently going through left... Why was I going to say left for dead? He's going through dead space at the moment, blind. And it is thoroughly entertaining, and I, I do recommend you uh, watch it. Uh, it's actually what I'm going to be watching next. 
I watched the first because he he started doing it and then he had a break and now he's gone back to it. So I started watching it when he first started doing it and it was thoroughly entertaining. Um, so I will be going back to that. Um, I've just finished watching Crystal Greaves go through Abe's Odyssey, which was the OG Abe's Odyssey, uh, getting the best ending. That was loads of fun. Uh, his channel will be in the description as well, Crystal. Um, and before that, I was watching uh, Jimmy Fails play Daymare. Oof. Yeah. I only watch one LP at a time, because that's all I generally get time to do. So we had Daymare. Then I watched... Oh, and then Blind Man as well. I watched Blind Man go through Resident Evil 1. He will be in the description as well. That was fun. <laughs> he actually did something quite unique on his Let's Play. He kind of blended Chris and Jill... Uh, story together in quite a funny way um he <laughs> yeah he also um had a nice little easter egg of an ending which he put together which yeah yeah that was fun okay i like that so i'll put him in the description so now i finished um watching abe's odyssey yesterday last night i think it was last night the night before can't remember now oh the days blur into one so i am going to uh start watching dead space from h next so that pretty much sums everything up, what I've been watching, what I've been doing, what I've been playing, um, and where we're heading next. So, what do you want to see? Do you want to see Uncharted? Well, obviously you want to see Uncharted. That's one of the games that's been requested, but that's not going to come up yet. Do you want to see The Last of Us? Part 2. Let me know, because if you do, we will squeeze it in in the near future, which probably after Jungle Strike. Yeah, that'll be the next available slot. Yes, yes, that will be done. Um, or, and I know this one's going to probably be quite popular. Or, if you don't want to see The Last of Us, we'll go full steam. Or you don't want to see The Last of Us yet, because obviously I will do it. Um, <clears throat> I'll do it regardless, but I just want to know if you guys want to see it sooner rather than later. Um, Blue Stinger on the Dreamcast. Oh, I know that one's going to get some, some love. That one's already being recorded. Mm, and that one's, uh, that one's quite fun. So anyway, I'm going to leave us here. I said we're going to have a quick update. And as well, it seems to be something that only I can do. My quick update is now 22 minutes and 30 seconds. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.